समय वी आर बैक विद द सेकेंड मैच ऑफ द डे इट्स बिटवीन चिंगारी गर्ल्फ टाइटन एंड गैंजिस ग्रांड मास्टर्स सागर आई एम सुपर एक्साइटेड बिकॉज there's mr vishwanathan anand the five time world champion taking on young gustav duda what a match up saga this is the game i'm most excited for and i hope that we see this game until the end yes absolutely the legend the five time world champion vishy anand is back in action after a break of 6 months and we are so privileged to be seeing him in action once again and this will be definitely the game to watch out for but samay board number 2 between two of the most creative players in the world of chess mamediarov and rapport yeah and both known for very aggressive styles yes and there on board 3 we have the current day mikhail tal as they say the amazing daniel dubov taking on dominguez dubov is one of the most creative chess players of today's time right yes absolutely and On the board number four, we have the strongest women player in the world, Ho Yifan, taking on Alexandra Koschenyuk. So that is going to be very, very exciting. And board number five, we have Bella Khotena Shvili taking on po- the young Polina Shualova. And finally, on board number six. We have Nihal Sarin taking on Andrea Sipienko. Sagar, what about this match? I feel this is going to be a very, very sharp match because they're both prodigies and both amazing attacking players. Absolutely. Uh, let's go to the first game. Less than 15 seconds each. Blunders will happen. Blunders are prone to happen, and both these players are going to try to test each other. Okay, this one, Samay. I think. Oh, he's brought his rook to the side. Can we take the rook or not? Is the question here. You, you, you should not, right? You should not. You should not because then you will drop your pawn in the center. So he brings his rook back. Okay, maybe Samay, we go away from this game because this one might end in a draw. Let's go to board number four. Ho Yifan versus Alexandra Koschenyuk because that is a game where a decisive result is going to come in. Ho Yifan versus Alexandra Koschenyuk is where Ho Yifan is pressing. She is winning the game. That means, means Ganges Grand Masters are completely leading this match. Absolutely, this is huge. If we look at the position here, Ho Yifan is pawn up right now. She is playing really well. But some in rook end games, one extra pawn is not enough to win. Come on, in rook end games, I think an extra pawn is enough, right? well it is but there are drawing tendencies but i think in such a position white has a clear plan she will bring her king out and then this weak pawn will fall yeah so that means we can say that ganges grand masters is close to winning this match it's a huge favorite because asipenko is pressing with white he is also pressing ho yifan is also pressing and i think ganges grand master with vishy leading from the front is a very clear favorite so what's happening in the match between uh, polina shualova that's a draw i think it's an equal position here between polina shualova and uh, bella khotena shwili let's jump over to the second board as it is one of the strongest attackers in the chess world shakriar mamedyarov playing with the black pieces on board number 2 faces ricard rapo with white and in both these matches the team that won the toss has chosen to play white tell me why do you think that's the case what's going on here yeah even i'm surprised because by winning with black you get more uh, points so if i would win the toss i would uh, choose black but i guess that uh, choosing white has its own merits because you can come prepared from home yeah and i think that's what they would rather uh, go for like you know preparation over greed yeah let's go and check the game of nihal sarin versus andre asipenko samay we are getting the live boards here but for the time being just so that our viewers know nihal sarin is in a better position against uh, sorry andre asipenko with the white pieces in a better position against nihal sarin there we have a high difference sagar 
<laughs> and chess is one of those games where you know it doesn't matter your size, your shape, how fit you are. It's all a mental sport. Absolutely. Samai, his mood is pawn up. You can see Duda's face. He is already unhappy with his position. He knows that the writing is on the wall. Vishy can simply move his rook to the side and deliver a check to the opponent's king. We have the completely zoomed in view. Will Vishy find that Musa might just move the rook to the side? Give a check to the opponent's king and it's over. And Duda has only 12 seconds, guys. 40 seconds for Vishy. Will he find it? This is the critical moment of the game. Vishy Anand, you can see there the young... You know, that young Vishy is coming out right now. You know, he knows he's... Duda is so stressed. Duda knows it's over. It's close to over. He's thinking, is there any way, any resource that he can save himself? Oh, but Vishy moves his knight into the center. Why didn't he give a check? But this is also a winning move. This is also fine. Samai, that is okay. He has 23 seconds. He takes the bishop. He takes the knight. And now... Vishy gives a check. Intermediate check before it's he takes that. It's made in three. What? It's made in three. Oh, oh my Vishy God. Vishy Anand wins. Vishy Anand strikes after six months of not playing chess. Absolutely. The legend is timeless. He is the evergreen champion. And he has actually given Ganges Grandmasters a win. They lead the match. by 2 It's a three-point gap now with three more games to go. Hoi Fan has won. Which means that the Ganges Grandmasters have taken this match with a score of 9-3. Even if Shualoa wins the next game, she can only reach 9-7, which is also unlikely to happen. And so, a dominating performance by Ganges Grandmasters. What a strong team, Sagar. Samai, you see, the Black King was on the other side of the board. It has just, it has run over to the other side. And now trying to get in from this side. So, <laughs> so the king is, is just running from here and there. I, one has to really give it up for Polina Shualoa's fighting spirit. You know, she's not, she's not just giving it up. She's trying everything. If there were more than 64 squares, she would have tried to get in from the other side as well. <laughs> now the king is going back. It's on its way back. I think the king just wants to lose some weight, man. I, even I haven't walked so much. I think if the king had a, you know, like a watch, like a fitness watch, it's easily 10,000 steps so far. By the way, Samai, we have crossed the 100 move mark. We are at 108 World record, moves. world record, world record. We got to break it. Just 150 more moves to go. Let's Samai, go, girls. But do you know this rule? In chess, if there are no pawn moves and no exchanges of pieces, then in 50 moves, it's a draw. So the last pawn move or the last exchange happened on a move number. Let's just see. Which was the last? Ah, here we are. The last one happened on move 59. So logically speaking, if at 109 moves, ah, they agreed to a draw. There you have it. They have agreed to a draw. Bella is like, that was just a draw. I knew it all along. And Polina fought hard. But Samai, this means that the victory is for the Ganges Grandmasters with the score of 10-4. Yeah, what a team, Sagar. What an amazing match we had. Really, really fun matches. We had all kinds of matches. We had sharp matches. We had quick matches. We had a long match. We had an aggressive match. We had a different... Everything was there. It was like a movie. It had everything. Yeah, yeah. Dominating performance by Ganges Grandmasters taking this match, which means today, Samai, we have two champ, two teams who are in the lead now in this tournament. We have the Upgrade Mumba Masters who are at the top and also the Ganges Grandmasters. But not to be so upset if you are the fans of Triveni Continental Kings or for that matter, Chingari Gulf Titans because they are all going to play nine more games and they will be trying to get back to the top two of the leaderboard. Whichever teams finish top two, go into the finals and it's going to be very interesting to see which team comes out on top. There you have Polina moving out from the 
venue some i look at the light show that's happening at the venue with all these different lightings happening this is never seen before in a chess tournament uh -huh.